I want to talk about as if random. As if random is a very important topic when it comes to exchangeability. We're going to be talking about this pretty quickly. It's a short concept, so I'll get right into the causal diagram. We have some sort of treatment A. This treatment A is going to be influenced by some sort of confounder L. So this treatment in this case, it could necessarily be, I don't know, um, a heart transplant. L could be symptoms that are indicative of a heart transplant. We're going to go ahead and condition upon L. So we'll survey the patients on the conditions that are indicative of, of wanting a heart transplant. And then we'll go ahead and we'll stratify based on those conditions. We'll go say, uh, ahead and say that, of course, L, the symptoms, uh, have an effect on the final outcome, the survival time <clears throat> after the heart transplant. And we'll say, um, of course, there are some unmeasurable things that also affect uh, going in for a heart transplant. So this might be your tolerance for pain or something like that. Okay, so we note from this diagram that we do have exchangeability. Uh, a uh, does have a link, it has a backdoor path, it has a common effect with Y, however we've conditioned upon this common effect. So we're totally fine here. Uh, so if there were necessarily a causal link from A to Y, uh, we could measure it by measuring the association between A to Y. Now question, is A randomly assigned? Uh, so the idea here is, is no. So, so we know that we can achieve exchangeability by random assignment of A, and we can also achieve it by conditional random assignment. So we can condition, condition upon L and do random assignment. But A is, is not necessarily randomly uh, assigned. You know, perhaps there is some distribution of people that have pain tolerances, and people with low pain tolerance uh, go ahead and petition to have this heart transplant procedure. Um, or people with high uh, pain tolerance, it, you know, something like this. Um, so it's not necessarily randomly decided. Different people will go in for it for different reasons. Um, but it's almost as if it were randomly decided. Uh, the idea here is that, you know, fate, the universe, whatever you want to call it, is, does play some sort of game where it, where it takes everyone and it randomly assigns them uh, to this uh, treatment group, which is, you know, wanting to get this heart transplant or not wanting to get this heart transplant. What we need to be very careful of is that this random assignment mechanism doesn't also affect the outcome, that there's no sort of common cause here. Again, this makes a lot more sense in my mind, especially when you sort of view these things as, in a, you know, doctors view severity and then they randomly assign people to uh, the treatment. But if you can sort of kind of make this connection in your mind from sort of like the universe, randomly assigning people to go in for treatments, randomly assigning people to go into the doctor in this sort of way. So we can, we can call this kind of as if random. It's, it's as if A were randomly assigned. So hopefully that clears up a little intuition for you guys. Again, it's not incredibly important to grasp this, um, again, because it's just purely intuitional, but maybe that helps. So. Next time we'll be doing a review of exchangeability.